These are some of my most trendy bags that are totally worth the investment. Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Amy, and today I wanted to talk about five of my most trendy bags that I still feel like are worth the investment. This is one of my more recent bags. I think the Speedy Nano, the new model, as well as this one are some of my newest bags in my collection. I look at a few different factors. I look at whether I get a lot of cosplay wear, so whether I reach for the bag in question a lot. Another factor that I look at is just how much I love the bag. I think that is a huge, huge factor. Value is so subjective. Obviously, there's always the price factor and some luxury bags out there nowadays are just so overpriced but sometimes regardless of the price factor you just really really love a bag and you just you just love it for no reason like there's no particular reason other than you just love it and that's good enough third of all we're gonna discuss how timeless and classic i'm gonna discuss practicality how easy it is to get in and out how easy it is to just like wear it and you know be on the go and just just the ease of the bag. The main thing that surprised me the most about this bag is just the practical aspect of it. Of course, I love it because it's beautiful and I was attracted to it for a long time. I kind of resisted buying it because I thought, no, this is really outside of my comfort zone. I usually tend to stick with Chanel and Hermes. This is really kind of different from what I usually go for nowadays, but I was totally totally style was attracted to it price wise it's very very reasonable i think the current retail price in canada before taxes is 2450 so it's still very very reasonable in terms of a luxury brand um affordability in terms of timelessness i think it comes and goes obviously crystals are always timeless it's very retro and of course with the 90s fashion coming back it's very current right now it may kind of dip a little bit but it doesn't mean that when you wear it during those times that it will be completely obsolete i don't think therefore i think that it will stand the test of time um and honestly that's just a really uh, minute trend factor that a lot of us pay too much attention sometimes. Cost per wear and practicality are some of my most um, unexpected about this. So, like I said, I I didn't I didn't realize how how so easy it is to get in and out. Obviously, I I have an idea just from judging from the style, but uh, and also from other people's reviews and just feedback but until I use it myself you don't really know how you feel personally and how you use your things in general I really feel that this bag fits almost just as much as my Gabrielle it's just that the Gabrielle is slightly taller actually that's not true they're they're about the same height but just because the the Gabrielle has more of a boxier shape so things do stand up in this bag quite well the way that I like using it is with um this organizer which is actually the samorga organizer that i owned already from my trendy cc i'm gonna get the proper organizer for this bag eventually because i still want the exact size but as of right now i'm totally okay with just having this inside because it gives me extra compartments by the way i'm not gonna get into what's in my bag and all that very specific uh, things that I've already filmed in my original video. So I'm just gonna link to all of those I don't love a ton of zippered bags, but this one is uber Super uber easy to get in and out. You get a large opening when you do need to get in and out um, You don't really technically need the organizer, but it's always great to have I love protecting the lining of my bags Especially because this is an all fabric bag. The interior is just that very soft satin fabric which I know if you're not a careful person, uh, it will get a lot of wear and tear and just things shuffling inside, it will scratch the interior. So I always love having a liner inside. Aside from this part where you can potentially get more wear and tear if you're really rough with it or maybe your rings and such kind of scratch it a lot, the body of the bag is protected by all these crystals. And I feel like this is one of those 
a uh, great advantage of this very very sort of obnoxious crystal bag to look good but it also is very protective so in fact this material may be more durable than your calfskin or caviar because i feel like it won't get scratched and even if it does you won't see it because these crystals will just reflect the light back and you won't even know where the scratch is unless you physically damage the crystal the only con about this bag is that you can't wear it crossbody um is it a huge con not so much because if i need to be hands-free i just even with a huge coat is still very very generous to do that and if i ever ever have to sell it to fund other things for example that may happen it still is so reasonably priced that i don't feel like it would make such a big difference whether i sold it or not and if i did sell it and make a, t a little loss for example if it doesn't keep its value as well because this is just prada right um it's still okay you know what i mean like you're not going to lose thousands and thousands even if you sold it for half the price which i don't think it will lose that much value in my opinion it's it's a great bag it, it's honestly a great bag and even though they do make it more and more and more now and different colors it doesn't really matter because yeah it's such a great bag i don't see uh, a reason why this wouldn't have room in anybody's collection speaking of bling i wanted to update you guys on my jewelry today so these are pieces that i've owned for a while you must have seen it in one of my videos but if you haven't these are from italo and italo is an online jewelry company artisan beautifully crafted jewelry they have so many different styles almost overwhelming in a sense and i have a good collection i've collaborated with them many times i have a great collection these are definitely my favorite pieces i have also gifted many pieces to family and friends they are very well made always sterling silver i believe rhodium plated if it's a silver appearance or gold plated and they last forever these are very comfortable earrings in the shape of a camellia so it really reminded me of chanel when i pick these I always pair it with this necklace this is one of my favorite necklace from uh, Italo because I love how it's blingy right here on the chain part it's not all all crystals so the back part is just um, the sterling silver but it's very very well finished and the front it has this beautiful uh, crystal pendant also in terms of substance these are just fabulous these pieces feel substantial i feel like even if i shower with them it would be fine not that you're recommended to do so but it's just so substantial the 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 amount of silver or just the construction of each piece is so substantial and just so high quality that you would never feel like you're wearing something cheap and um all the pieces are rhodium plated which is why they're so shiny and everything and so yeah i'm gonna leave my links to these pieces down below my next bag that i feel like should definitely be talked about this is uh yeah definitely one of my newest bags as well is the newest nano speedy and as you can see it's full because i just used it earlier like i said i was just running some errands earlier running around town in my initial video i mentioned that i came across so many speedies first the speedy 30 then the 25 bandoulier then another 25 bandoulier but in a different print because i had it in damier first and i just didn't like the stiffness of the strap so i changed it to the monogram with the vachetta strap which is better but the size was just too overwhelming and um you know it's not like a huge bag but for me it's a huge bag because i don't need that much space in my bags and i get so overwhelmed when i can't find things when uh, it gets too heavy even the 25 size it's it gets too heavy for me because i will load it up because i can and then it just yeah it's it wasn't a good bag for me it truly wasn't and when the nano trend started sometime around two three years ago I wasn't quite on board right away my issue always is that with zippered bags phones are hard to get in and out and i hate that um not just phone but especially the phone so i kind of wasn't on board quite yet until more recently of course now i'm just so used to even just holding my phone sometimes but regardless this obviously fits my phone my phone's right inside right now let's go through the factors right cost per wear um 
it's not super high because it's one of my newest bag but i feel like i will get a lot of cosplay wear once i start traveling a bit more and every time i feel like i need a a very nano size bag but not so small like these ones because these ones don't fit a phone and hardly fits anything else for most people like this is an, a useless bag so whenever i feel like i need a slightly larger bag this is perfect do i love it though yes absolutely this nano bag is just as i was describing in my initial video which i will link up here the perfect upgrade to the nano speedy everything about um this version with the updated trims the pre-tanned leather it's still natural cowhide and it's untreated as in there's no coating aside from just the darkening proportion wise i feel like this is just cuter it just is cuter i love the adjustable strap even though it's actually shorter now i feel it's it really is shorter but because it's shorter and because now i tend to prefer a more grown-up look i don't always love crossing body my bags even though i love the option of that but i just love the fact that this can be really short to the point where it just looks like a cohesive shoulder bag we all need crossbody bags for for days where we're just running around running errands but even so i love the fact that i can just wear this bag more perm and proper so yes i love the bag totally totally love the bag timelessness and classicness you can't beat the speedy shape is it practical um yes and no i'll be very very honest even though it does fit my phone and all the stuff that i showed you guys it's still not the most practical to get in and out it's not bad for its size but it's not always <sighs> Let's just put it this way i don't feel like playing tetris every day and i don't feel like getting my hands scratched every day as of right now i'm going to show you what i have so i have a snack i have this madeline inside i just threw it in because like i said i was running around town i was worried i would get hungry i have this uh hair clip so it, it you know there's some big items in here that are coming out of my bag so this is my car keys and i do have my phone in there see it's it's kind of hard to get your phones in and out but it does fit i do have the max this sanitizer which you know when i get out the door i just leave it standing up because it's just easy to grab especially because as i'm opening doors i like to sanitize right away as i open and close doors and then of course finally i have um my whole chanel wallet in there my card holder it fits bulky things right which you would never be able to fit in this but is it so practical every day not so much and also because uh, of the natural cowhide yes it's pre patina but i still wouldn't run into a rainstorm in this kind of material so it's not always the most practical but is it cute and do i love it yes um do i get cosmo wear eventually and is it worth it it's worth it if you love it obviously and i feel like i have tried enough speedies that this is the the strongest contender contender right now and if if i ever were to keep a speedy style in my collection of course at this point i'm sort of like a i'm not a collector collector i use my things but i collect different styles of bags that are classic and that i love so yes it's trendy and no it's not perfect there are some cons um it's still worth the investment for me for now there's still room in my collection for this bag will i always feel that way like forever ever ever in five ten years maybe i don't know but as of right now i love this and as of right now i feel like i'm still uh trendy enough um you know i'm not so mature that i don't have space for something like this in my everyday style how i dress and how i like to use my bags there's still definitely room for this okay, up next we have these little cuties i have two identical ones they're just different colors they're from the same season i do use my black one constantly i usually have it right there because i just usually just run out the door and i you know one of the most grabbed item that i take with me is always this um uh, the pink one i 
I kind of lightly used it once, but it's still, you know, the sticker is still on and everything. So it's pretty much brand new. <laughs> so the pink one, I really treasure it because it's such a beautiful color. And I, I just love the nice pop of color. Like it's literally brand new. There's no scratch, nothing on it. So I, I kind of lightly used it once because I felt like it. Um, but yeah, why do I love this style? Obviously, it's not going to be for everyone. It's totally not. Um, is it worth the investment for you? Probably not, but it is for me. Um, cost per wear. Let's talk about cost per wear. Totally already worth every single penny, especially the black one. Not the pink one, but the black one. I have used it countless times. Sometimes I would wear a regular bag and I would wear this on top. Not just as an accessory, even though that is part of the sort of reasoning, it does look an ex as an accessory because it basically just looks like body jewelry, right? With the chain and the little charm. It just looks so good. But I do put my essentials inside. Pretty much nine times out of tens, I'm actually getting in and out of this bag more than I get in my actual handbag. Yes, I get in my handbag because I do put the bulkier things inside. Maybe I'm shopping, maybe I'm with a friend. And I, I do need that handbag, but every time I need my lip balm or every time I need to pay for something, I reach in this bag instead. So I do get a lot of cost per wear for this. Now, um, do I love it? Absolutely. That is the whole reason why I bought two because they are extremely overpriced. When I bought this one, which was the second season that they re-released it, but they just updated it with um, the magnetic closure, which is absolutely a great update. And I totally justify paying the extra $600 for that update. You know, $600 for a button, it's a lot, but it's totally worth the practical aspect of it. That all ties into it. Um, so retail price, it's, it's high. For me, this is a timeless piece. I know it's very trendy. This is probably the most trendy of all the bags that I'm, I'm mentioning today because it's such a nano novelty size. It's so, so novelty that it wouldn't fit everyone's lifestyle. Absolutely not. You have to be such a minimalist when it comes to what you carry, which I am. Yeah, I could not not have this bag in my collection at all. This is how much I love this bag and this is this is pretty much me saying that this is a forever bag. Perhaps, no, I don't need to, but for now, I love this style so much that I absolutely for sure will have the black one in my collection forever. The pink one, look, I just love it so much, okay? I just love it so much that I don't see myself parting with it. A lot of you still are asking me to sell it because obviously I don't wear my pink one very often, but I still can't. I can't like just look at it i just can't i just can't let it go not as not at the moment um it's just one of those things it's just one of those things where you just you just love something and you rather have it collect dust in a sense than to let it go so Yes, I'm a very, very biased Chanel person. By the way, if you've been enjoying this content and I know this one is a little bit more chatty, definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Another thing that can make your bag more practical is to always have a handbag holder with you. And this is one that I just got sent by Carrie Atelier. And it's so beautiful. I have to show it to you guys. So it comes packaged, actually this was inside. It comes packaged in this beautiful white box. It even has the little pouch. I chose mine in the rose gold. So it's rose gold plated. You can definitely feel the quality and it just opens like so. You just kind of slide it out and you, it's really cool. I love the, um, the fact that it's just, um, it just rolls out and, and then you can just put it on your table. So let's just pretend that this is the table. Now your bag sits right there and it will hold pretty much any bags, even mini ones like this, not that I need it, but especially for when you have a heavier bag, such as the 19, the Gabrielle. Love the fact that it comes with the carrying pouch already. So you can always have this in your bag. It's very compact. I will leave links to this one as well. And thank you to Carrie Atelier for sending me a sample. I definitely love it. And um, 
I'm sure as we go out more and eat out more, especially over the next few months when the weather actually warms up and we have more family and friends visiting, that I'll get even more use out of this. So based on my analytics, there's still a lot of people looking up Chanel 19 bags reviews, Gabrielle reviews, which I have a lot of videos on these two bags, so many videos. And so um, it'll just be a brief update. Cosmo wear, yes, totally get it. It's up there. Uh, it's it's just one of those easiest, easiest classic flop looking bag that I just am so happy to reach in and out. Um, it's really easy to carry. I particularly love the small size though. I always get asked this question, what size is my Chanel 19? It's really not that hard to tell. Mine just cuts off at the the, the middle of the quilt. And so really, if you count the quilt, right, you just look at where the quilt is being cut. This is the small size or the smallest size. I, I know they're sometimes referred as medium, but it's really the smallest size. Um, I do favor the small size because it is the least heavy. It's the one that will remain um, the most structured. Obviously, I do own an organizer for this and I highly recommend that you get one. I love using this bag without the organizer. I just love that slouch. I love to be able to just sort of squeeze it and feel like it's a pillow, even though I do use it with the organizer too sometimes. Um, it just depends on the day. If I needed more space, I'll remove the organizer. But when I store it, I always leave it back in because that's so crucial for keeping um, the wear and tear minimal because yeah, you get wear and tear even during storage, unfortunately. But really aside from that, this bag is so easy. It's easy to use, easy to store, easy to get in and out. Um, it's pretty weatherproof in a way. I've gotten rained on, like poured on so terribly that uh, I, I got so scared, but it dried up perfectly fine. Um, the Chanel 19 does come in a fabric, like in a tweed, or they either do it in a calf skin or goat skin or lamb skin. And my version is the lamb skin. So I know I say that a lot and a lot of you will not believe me, but it is lambskin. Mine is lambskin and I love the lambskin version because it's so buttery soft. It still maintains that sort of luxuriousness because the goat skin, it has more texture to it. The calf skin too, it has sort of more that of that fold. When it's creased, once it's creased, it kind of just stays creased in my opinion, whereas the lambskin sort of just bounces back and it just has that more smoothness to it. And so, I totally am impartial to the lambskin version of the 19. This bag was love at first sight. I honestly, it's, it's one of those things, right? Like it's, it's sort of like, I didn't know what to expect because you hear about, oh, the chain is chunky. It's going to be heavy. Um, oh, it's not so, um, it's not so Chanel. It's just trying to be a classic flop, but it's not. You hear all those things until you check it out in person. This is exactly what I wanted in, in a Chanel bag that kind of is classic, but not really. That is so easy. It's so everyday style that you didn't know that you needed. It's that kind of bag. The moment my essay handed it to me, I was like, oh my gosh, there's no going back. I wish I didn't like it because I honestly was not looking to spend that day, but I had to check it out. It was still brand spanking new. like. This bag was literally only one season old when I got mine and I'm just so glad I got it when I got it. I would still buy another one. That's how much I love it. But do I really need another one? Because technically speaking, black is the best color for me. The size is already the best. Do I really need many, many more? Not necessarily, but I would love because I, I love the look of a white one or a cream one. It just looks so good. So never say never, um, but this is the ultimate. The black lambskin small is the ultimate ultimate. Nowadays, we don't have to be so uptight with styling anymore. It's not like back in the 60s, 50s, where you have to dress a certain way. Nowadays, everything is acceptable as long as you're comfortable and confident in it. So for me, this will remain a timeless style for a long, long time. Is it the most practical, however? I feel like I just basically use the handle the most and the chain is more of a decoration. The chain also pretty much is the majority of the weight of the bag. It's a pretty hefty chain and it also has this big 
leather piece. It's not the most comfortable chain on a bag, but it's not so uncomfortable either. It's just neither or nor. The rest of the bag, yes, it's very, very practical. Very, very easy to get in and out the main compartment. The back compartment is also very, very generous. You can easily throw in anything that you're like needing right away. Uh, and getting in and out of the main compartment is just a breeze. It's literally a breeze. I can also wear this bag in almost all weather conditions. Like I said, I, I kind of got poured in once. I don't love that, but if it's really raining, I will carry an umbrella and still not worry so much that a few droplets get on my bag. I really don't worry about that. So it's very, very practical that way. So the main con of this bag is just the price. Last but not least, we have the Chanel Gabrielle. The cool factor or the aesthetic of this bag is not even what makes me love this bag so much. It's how practical it is. So let's talk about cost for wear. I've gotten a lot of cost for wear with this bag. Is it a bag that I... I use as much nowadays, not as much as originally. I will say when I first got this bag, I just couldn't, I couldn't put it down. But now that I have, you know, I've got the 19, I've got my classic flop, and I also have the trendy, and then also my Hermes Bicotin. I have so many black bags to rotate. And now also this one, right, which is also kind of like a black bag. I have a lot of black bags to rotate, so I'm not using this one as much. Um, but I absolutely still think that I got my cost for wear for it, especially because I bought it earlier on. I actually am one of those people that um, loved the look of uh, when everyone was complaining about how they thought it was ugly. Because it's Carl's design, and we've seen it around for many years already. Like it's it's just as iconic as the boy bag. You you just recognize it because you recognize it. And so for me, the timeless factor is there. I basically don't think that if you wear this bag, even in 10 years time that people will say, oh my gosh, you're so out of date. I don't think so. And plus, like I said, with fashion nowadays, it's getting more and more acceptable. Before you couldn't wear sneakers to a wedding now, sneakers are cool so it's getting more and more acceptable right fashion wise how you style how you express yourself is holy a lot is acceptable so this bag totally timeless for me but in terms of practicality this bag is just so you just cannot beat this bag in terms of a, a zippered style hobo that you can just get such easy reach i also find the length perfect because this is just the perfect shoulder length so easy to reach in and out literally like i have reach right here it's the perfect height even though this bag is not as trendy anymore but it's still very trending that is the difference everybody is still thinking about this bag or maybe if your collection is just all classics and you want something fun interesting and uh practical it does have a bit of weight to it it's not the lightest bag but for some reason, because it is so easy to, to grab, even if you were to grab it by the, by the chains just like quickly in and out of your car, it's just, there's an ease to this bag. However, regarding the chains, that may be a con for some of you because I know some of you have had um, quite a bit of wear and tear on the chains. And I think it's just weather dependent. If you live in a tropical area and if you get your chains wet, um very often and you rub it against what you're wearing especially if what you're wearing has a lot of hardware or if you have a lot of necklaces and things like that then this bag may not be for you because it does get tangled um, it may get caught on the hardware on your garments or even like anything that you wear on your body such as your necklaces your brooches those things can get tangled on the chain if you just look up fashionably amy chanel 19 or fashionably amy chanel gabrielle you'll find several videos but i'll leave the playlist in the description box anyway these ones might be harder to find these bags because um i probably only have maybe um, one video of each for these bags. Anyway, it'll be in the description box or I'll just link it in the cards right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. You can also support me further by becoming a channel member where you get more exclusive content. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.